Hey there guys, Chris with Min Media. Today I want to give you my full tutorial on how to use Gling AI. Chances are you're looking into AI tools to save you time editing videos and this is the tool. All right, so let's get started. Step number one is to download Gling.ai. Consider using my affiliate link in the description because you got to support creators, right? So step number two is to click here to upload your video. You can also connect your YouTube, but I advise doing that at a later date. Just click here to upload. I have a test video that I have uploaded loaded and I shot it. It's just like a basic front facing camera video. So this screen will then prompt up and it will tell you to add more files. You can add multiple files at one. I'm just going to add one video clip at a time. And that's what I tend to do. I'll shoot a front face camera video or edit it. And essentially this edits for you. I, I, I got to show you guys this because it's, it's insane. Click on continue once you've uploaded it. So these are the selections that you get to choose that it edits your video. We can cut silences. We can cut bed tape we can jump cut zoom and we can remove audio noise I highly advise that you do all of them because it, it it's the best because what you want to do here you want to jump cut zoom to keep retention we want to cut bed takes utilize every editing aspect that it does and then click on enhance and edit this is where we wait for the tool Gling AI to edit our video depending on the size and file type of your video it's going it may take longer or shorter uh, I upload 4k videos into here and I gotta say they take a lot longer that's probably the only con that I say about Gling AI but we'll just give this a minute to finish up so the videos finished up and this is what the editing dashboard looks like I'm gonna minimize myself a little bit just to make this easier to see so this is what it looks like so this is the video editor and on the left here we have a transcript and what's really cool is you can actually highlight and you can edit based on the transcript which is really really cool so if I edit these words I can just click on this cut button and it will remove it from the video editing timeline down below and down here below we have an actual video editor and you can see the spots where it has removed all the dead air bad takes and you can look at these what I tend to do first is I'll click on skip cuts because what I want to do here is I want to play it but I wanted to skip the cuts and then I'll listen to what the video sounds like so that I can properly edit it differently. So let's have a quick listen. Let's start from the beginning and then just have a listen. Hey there guys, my name's Chris and this is my demo. And just listen to your entire video. Chances are maybe AI doesn't get it perfect, but what you can do here is if, say if it cut off a different spot here, you can click on the individual clip section and then on the edges, you can left click and drop and drag if you wanna like increase the, cl the, the cut or you might call it a trim. Sometimes there's too much of a gap. All right guys, so I quickly wanna interrupt this. I wanna bring you into an actual video editor. And again, this is CapCut and I wanna show you what we're saving time on. So if I import this video and I bring in the test video and I drop and drag it down here, like I were to edit it, right? The first couple of things we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to remove the dead air. And you can see here below the video file, that's the audio, and we're gonna have to sit here and drop and drag this video, and I'm gonna have to figure out the spots in which the audio is done, and then cut out those dead spots. This is essentially what Gling AI is doing for us. So I'm sitting here, and again, this video is only 30 seconds long, but if this video is 15 or 18 minutes long, I have to sit here and do all of these edits. What I'm trying to show you is how much time Gling AI is going to save you. And again, guys, just give it a trial, man. Check out the link in the description. I'm not even done editing this yet. So that removes all of this, the dead air. I have to sit here and do all of this. That might take me, who, who knows? Depends how long your video is, right? And then let's talk about jump cuts. So if I have to sit here, uh, let's minimize me a little bit for a sec. If I have to sit here and do jump cuts, I have to click on the file and I have to go in there and do all these zooms. I have to add keyframes and I have to sit here and do this and this all takes time but yeah guys what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say to you is this tool does all this for you and it's gonna save you a buttload of time all right back to the tutorial sorry and what you what I advise you to do is to kind of select your pacing which the the pacing is the amount of time in between each clip so right here down in the right hand uh, corner it says pacing click on this I'm gonna move my face over a little bit and then what we want to do here is we want to choose our pacing and uh, what I advise you to do is 0.5, maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.4, somewhere around that. And what that means is that's 0.4 seconds, anything above 0.4 seconds, it's going to cut from the video. I personally tend to enjoy my videos to move a lot faster because I do a lot of tutorials and it's like bam, 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 bam. But maybe if you want to slow down a little bit, 
Maybe you do it at like 0.6 and you want like more time in there. And right below there, it will tell you it removes six pauses and it's a total of 23.96 seconds, which is kind of crazy. If I, if I do it at like 0.5, there are six pauses, 0.4, seven pauses, and depending on how long your video is, it will have more, obviously. But this is a really short video. As you can see here, it's 17 seconds after it's finished editing. Um, down here at the end, it should tell you the number of cuts, the editing time, the total time. So like I was telling you guys, I tend to watch the entire video within the video editor here. I'll start at the beginning and just watch it. And what you can do here is you can click on this editor and you can jump cut zoom more. You can remove noise from the audio. A lot of times it will remove background noise for you. It's very helpful. Just by uploading this video, I've essentially taken out all the dead air and it's edited. It's jump cut zoom and it's like, it's mind blowing. I put every single video in here that I upload on this channel into Gling AI because you have to remember the first step of editing usually you throw it in the video editor and you remove all the dead spots and you trim it all together what I'm telling telling you is Gling AI is doing this video editing for you so like why not save the time if anything guys give it a free trial I'll throw my affiliate link in the description just try it out for free man it's it's a game changer but as I was telling you guys you can also edit the video from the transcript so if I left click on this this word and I click on the cut button, it cuts it from the video editor down there. And if you screw anything up here in the right hand corner, you can always undo something. So just so you know, that's very important to know. A new feature that Gling AI just released is this AI assistant. I haven't messed around with it a little bit, uh, or I haven't messed around with it a lot, but what a lot of people are saying is that it's extremely helpful. So click on this AI assistant right here, and we can actually use these AI assistants. We can do the title generator. So if you attach your YouTube channel, it will actually help you craft YouTube titles to utilize for your videos. I tend not to use this. Again, you could just use ChatGPT, honestly, and it also has it for chapter generation, which is actually really helpful. I do use this feature because I have found that doing chapters in your videos it really kind of helps boost the SEO. That's my personal experience though. Not to deep dive on that too much, but it is a helpful AI assistant feature that Gling AI also has. Another cool feature that they've recently added is this smart captions. So you can actually add captions to your video just by clicking on that, which is in itself, like I can't explain how important that is. So if we click here and we have a watch here. Hey there guys, my name's Chris and this is my demo video though. Yeah, like look how good these captions look. Like I pay money to be, I pay money for softwares that just add captions, you know, like Descript or like Submagic and this literally does it for you. And this tool is cheap guys. Like I can't express like how much time I'm saving using Gling AI. And what I come in, I, I upload the video, I watch it and I just click on the video and I make sure all the edits sound right. And then what I do is I go in there, jump cut, zoom it so it moves all over so I can save that time in the video editor. And then I will just export it. So when I'm done with the video, I'll go up here in the right hand corner and then you can actually export it into MP3 or you can uh, drop, click this and bring it straight to Adobe Premiere or Resolve which is also a game changer or just video and just throw it into the video editor from there and then continue your video editing. If I were a guessing man, I would guess that Gling AI is gonna be adding a bunch of more features like uh, adding B-roll, stock footage B-roll would be really cool to this video editor because there's a lot of times where like in this video, like it's just front face camera talking footage and you lose retention with that, but that's where the stock footage comes in to save you. I do foresee that coming very, very soon because this new Gling AI tool, it's it's there's tons of updates all the time and it's changed changing and adapting and getting better. So there you have it guys. I just export the video and then bring it into the video editor and add B-roll and what have you. Hope this tutorial helped you learn how to use Gling AI. I absolutely love this tool. Consider using my affiliate link in the description just to check it out guys. Just if you're, if you're looking to save time with video editing, this tool is for you. Thanks guys.